May our Heavenly Father guides your life in all your ways. Hello and welcome back for this new video. There is powerful prayer in the Psalms that when made with great faith has the power to bring prosperity and bless one's financial life. This prayer is Psalm 23, known as King David Prayer. And in this moment, we would like to say this prayer together with you. It is important to repeat seven times in a row and also do it for seven consecutive days for a better result, especially for those who find themselves in a really delicate financial situation, in need of an urgent provision, a true miracle, we strongly recommend also doing it along with a seven hour fast. But only those who can and who already know fasting know how to do it safely. Or you can just make a 30 minutes prayer with this prayer of Psalm 23 if you cannot fast. If you pray this prayer, it will bring many blessings to your financial life. Imagine witnessing God blessing you in a supernatural way. Now, prepare your heart as we are about to pray together. And may this prayer prosper and bless your financial life. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. 
Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let me pray for you now, O God, my shepherd and provider. At this moment, I come before you seeking the blessing and anointing of prosperity, abundance and plenty. As I meditate on the words of Psalm 23, I find comfort and hope in your loving care and guidance. You are my shepherd, and I declare that I shall not lack any good thing. May the green pastures and the overflowing cup pour out upon the life of this person. He now joins us in prayer. In the name of Jesus, I ask you to bless their hands so that everything they touch from now on may be blessed. Break every bond, chain and obstacle that has hindered their growth and progress thus far. Heavenly Father, all the blessings of Psalm 23 now upon our life at this moment. I believe that you are opening the doors we need, sending the answers we require, and placing the right people and opportunities in our paths. From now on, I declare that I will enter a season of supernatural harvest, where I will witness your hand working in extraordinary ways. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus we say Amen. Confident in your faithfulness and the power of your response, lead me to green pastures of opportunities and open doors. Guide me beside still waters of financial stability and provision. Restore my soul, O God, and fill me with the assurance that you are with me every step of the way. In the valley of financial challenges, I will not fear. For you are with me. Your rod and staff bring me comfort and protection. Rebuke every spirit of lack scarcity, and financial struggle in my life. Break the chains that have hindered my financial growth, and release me into a season of abundance and overflow. Prepare a table before me, in the presence of my financial adversaries. Overflow my cup with your blessings, my Lord. Anoint my mind with divine wisdom and creativity to make sound financial decisions. Let the oil of your favor flow over me, causing doors of opportunity to open, and blessings to abound, surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I declare that financial breakthroughs, favor, and divine connections will pursue me relentlessly. Your goodness and mercy will manifest in every area of my financial life. I choose to dwell in your house, O Lord, forever. I commit my financial journey into your hands. Lead me to paths of abundance, prosperity, and financial freedom. Grant me the wisdom to be a faithful steward of the resources you entrust to me as I embrace the promises of Psalm 23. I believe that you are already aligning circumstances and orchestrating divine appointments for my financial well-being. I surrender my worries and anxiety to you, knowing that you are my ultimate provider. May every spirit of poverty, misery, struggle, Difficulty and scarcity be removed at this moment. May your blessings, O God, be present in every days of our lives, leading us from glory to glory, from victory to victory, and granting us a time of plenty, abundance, and prosperity in all areas of our lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing our prayer. We receive your blessings of prosperity and financial help with gratitude and faith. In the name of Jesus we pray, Amen. Dear children of God, in the third letter of John chapter 2, it is written that you are hungry for financial growth. I believe that this is the appointed time by God for you to prosper to the point of having abundance even to lend and help your family and friends. May everyone around you be blessed. Now, share this prayer to one friend or a family member. Remember that God wants you to prosper. 
because he knows that you are someone who will also bless the people around you. As it is written is Psalm 105 verse 24, I declare that from now on, all your difficulties will be transformed into testimonies, and all obstacles in your path will become steps towards your success, growth, advancement, honor and glory of God. Amen. Do you believe? Say out loud I believe, and glory to God. May the grace of God cover you and accompany you wherever you go. In Jesus' name, Amen. And until the next video,